Hi, today I will tie a fly for mostly still water fishing and mostly rainbow still water fishing and it's uh, the midge or buzzer or chironomite and this one is uh, represents an emerger of a midge it's called a shuttlecock and this is the CDC wing which keeps the fly on a surface while these little creatures emerging and trouts uh, feeding on them. These are really can be small. This is bigger one. This is uh, hook size 12. You can tie this fly in size 14, 12, but you can also go for 10. Most of the time you will or you should fish the, this fly uh, without movement or it's just really slow moving but you can also try very very fast tripping with uh, uh, mostly for the big one on uh, size 10 and uh, also you will go for probably more than one fly even you can you can cast this fly exactly on the on the rising fish but if you're going to fish uh, with more flies I will uh, say use this on a, on a tip and uh, use it more like the a kind of washing washing uh, line style the the tip fly is floating there are some buzzers uh, names and then then the, then the fly line so they hang in before these two floating ends and you should definitely use a uh, floor carbon for the fishing. So let's go for this fly. It's easy fly, easy to tie. For hook I'm using Tiemco 100BL in size 12. For thread ma match the color. You can tie this, uh, of course, these uh, flies in different colors. Uh, you can even tie the body, try to tie in white, which will represent the empty shark. So tie in the thread to try to match the, the color of the fly, the main color with the color of thread. Or you can use the red one for the little tag here. I will use a black thread and orange unifloss for the tech. So tie in a little piece and form a tech here. Trim this and secure or cover this and for the body for ribbon I'm using only French XS but use you can use wire or some tinsel small tinsel using silver but you can go for some pearl or something like this so tie in the tinsel and now the body you can try a dubbing a fine dubbing or even a seals for dubbing which works also i'm going to use uh, fibers from the primer feathers from the, this was some roadkill and if I remember right, it, it was crow. So I will take just few fibers from here. Like this and tie them in. Uh, here. At the back. Okay. Cover the hook 
and front part and we will tie in the wing which is a CDC natural color and depends uh, if this will be really a highly floating fly for the washing line style of fishing or highly visible use more feathers uh, I will go for about five or six so match tips of these feathers and tie them in uh, a bit shorter than the, the, the length of the body Uh, okay, can be maybe a little bit shorter Not like this Now trim these ends uh, Don't trim them all at once uh, Just try to make some conic shape and secure as well okay uh, now I will take my heckle plier here take uh, these fibers or dab the body already and uh, start to wrap in these make the body these midges are like the bread for the for the still water trouts uh, so make sure you have some in your box when you get into to some lake And now uh, I'll start uh, wrap uh, the, the tinsel for the for the ribbon. Okay, secure this. Go under the wing and make there a, a little head. I like to myself raise the wing a bit so. I can easily tie in my tippet and uh, and it's not also floating in the the right uh, vertical position. It's more more horizontal a bit. So trim this. The tinsel. Okay, we finished the fly and. You're done. Uh, very easy fly, quick fly, and necessary for most of the still water ponds and uh, and when when the trout's rising for emerging emerging midges and buzzes. Okay, I will just add a drop of varnish. In this part. And ready to go fishing, right? Uh, so Try this fly, try it in different sizes, 
try it in different colors. When you see uh, trouts are rising on a on a still water, and they are not there is not really not a sea what they are rising for it will be probably some kind of pupa uh, just on the surface for the surface, uh, and probably it will be midges. So that's all for for now, and thank you for watching. Bye.